I'd characterize us today at the post mid to later stage of the cycle. We've still got some room to run. I'd probably say we've got another couple of years to go. Uh, it's interesting what we've had in the past year is sort of a very atypical fiscal stimulus. You never get it this late in the cycle, but the recent tax cuts and fiscal stimulus have clearly given a boost. We saw it in you know, the most recent quarterly uh, GDP release. But I would argue that you know, nine years into recovery, I don't know where the pent-up demand is. So we can juice this economy for a little bit, for a quarter or two, maybe three. But I'm not sure we can get on to a sustainable, permanently elevated growth path. So I think at some point we come back down to that 2 and 2.5% two and growth rate. You know, if we think about it, again, we are nine years into the recovery. We also still have a pretty good debt overhang at the federal level and elsewhere. And we have really weak demographics. So short-term boost, I get it. I don't see any imminent fear of recession. But in that type of situation, a good sort of bottom-up research-focused fund like ours, where the economy is doing well enough to avoid recession, but isn't booming, and nor will it bust, and inflation remains moderate, a good bottom-up fund that really focuses on credit and mortgage and asset-backed or commercial mortgage securities, done right with a good curve exposure, mindful that the yield curve is a lot flatter than it once was, um, can still really deliver some nice results. We, I really characterize it as a coupon clipping environment. And if you can find that fund that generates a good yield while providing some great downside protection, you should be in a good spot.